What's going on guys? My name is James Collection. If you'll find me for the first time, I am both a nerdy collector and an eBay reseller. It is midweek haul type thing and uh, I don't think there's actually anything for me to personally keep, which is the first in a little while actually. And I've got to go through and top the totals as I'm doing it because I'm really bad at keeping track. So first up is a Philips DVD recorder. Uh, this, I think it cost, no, it did. It cost me a tenner. I uh, should be looking at around it's a, going to be a medium parcel. It's about 35, 40 pounds posted, I think. Uh, so yeah, fairly decent find and managed to pick it up today. Another fairly decent find is this Scott Parker jacket. Paid 12 pounds. It does not want to open, but it should open. I need a bigger office. So nice and uh, quilted inside, fairly decent condition little to nowhere on the sleeves and places like that uh, military style m2 heavy duty it's got a code stock number and i'm fairly sure while having a quick look on ebay in the charity shop i actually found someone selling this exact coat so it should be nice and easy set of similar take new photos that's it job done yao kai watches uh, there's someone at the moment selling one watch with uh, 16 different discs for £15 plus postage. I paid £1.99 for this, by the way. Um, I don't quite know how many discs are in here. I would imagine it's probably going to be around 10 or 12 by the looks of it. And there's also another watch which I need to double check and make sure it's not a rarer variant or version. Uh, 2015 Hasbro, £1.99 paid. We should be looking at £15 plus for this. The Vikings game, I paid £3.99. Prices for this are all over the place. However, I did see someone getting, I think it was about £20 or £30 or something ridiculous. So it takes up little to no room. It's in fairly good condition. I think that's £3.99 well spent. James Bond 007 Spectre 1000 piece puzzle. I paid £2.99. Uh, going rate for this is anywhere between sort of £20 to, to £30. Obviously, we are due a new James Bond film in the near future. However, due to the break um, that's been delayed. So I'm going to stick it on anyway, because there's there's no need, no reason not to. But it's a 1000 piece uh, puzzle with um, the, the very handsome man, Daniel Craig. Tasmanian Devil. Uh, I think this was must have been Bath. It must have been looking at that this must have been someone's bath bubbles so this is would have been is there a date on it 1993 and i paid a quid from the same shop as the tasmanian devil uh bath bubble bath not bath bomb bubble bath thingy jesus christ i said the b word maybe i'll get demonetized i don't know let me know did you see any ads on this video uh, we have a national trust set of binoculars this was two pounds fifty which again i don't think is that bad a casio fx 82c uh, paid three pounds fifty hulk buster paid four pound now at the moment the price is quite low on these they're not worth a great deal however we have we have a long time before the next phase of marvel films come out and i'm going to hedge your bets that we're going to have a an iron lad and we will see the return of the Hulkbuster because they simply have to do it as it's such a big money earner for Disney. So mark my words, the old Iron Man stuff is going to go back up again. Unboxed Alien Funko Pop paid £3. This is going to be a keeper as I've got the Alien Queen and I'm just going to have like a, a nice little army of just alien figures. And then I'll probably just end up dotting them around the house without telling the wife so that as she opens cupboards, she'll be greeted by Alien Funko Pops. A 1996 Gambit toy paid a pound. A Casio LC787G paid two pound. A metric converter from Time Magazine paid two pound. And a Data Master 1102, 1102 paid two pound. And also got myself a, a load of Pokemon cards from my local charity shop who I, I know the managers fairly well in there. They know what I what I do they know what I collect as well so she had some Pokemon cards come in she said that they were like her um, her son wasn't interested in them as he's selling off his personal collection uh, son is a year younger than myself so really did grow up when the when the Pokemon cards were obviously at their height back in 99 2000 so she's the one who's selling them all 
for her son who knows the prices and things like that. So she said, oh, I've got some Pokemon cards in the in the back for you. Come and have a look and let me know if you want any. So I went through the lot and there was only just sort of four cards in there that I wanted. Uh, and I asked, well, do you want me to take out what I want or do you want to buy everything? Uh, do you want me to buy everything? She said, well, make me an offer. I said, well, they're in a terrible condition. Where do you want me to start? And we eventually uh, got to a price of four pounds for everything. So this is the stack of cards that we got, as you can see, decent amount for four quid. And then out of the four uh, pounds worth of, of items, these are ones that I, well, they're noticeable ones anyway. So there's a Metal Energy, a Base Set 2 Electrode, a Team Rockets Handiwork, I think that's from Fates Collide, a Rockets Hideout from Team Rocket Returns, a Darkness Energy, Professor Oak's Research, and an Espeon from Sandstorm, I think. And there we go, that is absolutely everything. So nothing major to shout about, to be honest. There's a, a little bit of money to be made in the, the little handheld calculators and things like that, but again, not mega bucks. It's just nice to, it's only one sort of Ikea bags worth of stuff. So I can now get all that out in the front room and, and go through it all, list it, and just do what needs to be done. But that is it for me. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you lovely lot in the next video. Good gaming and happy collecting. Adios.